Hey guys, what's up? It's Simone here. I am back with another client series as you guys can see. So in this video, I'm using my cousin Geneva. You guys have seen her in another video of mine. Um, so this video, we're going to actually do something a little bit different. We are installing a unit on her. Now, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I laid and slayed this unit. I felt like it came out really good. And if you really want to know how I did that, just make sure you keep watching. To get started, I did go ahead and just curl her hair back, give her a nice set of straight backs. You know I gave her about eight of them. <laughs> Let me stop. I gave her about eight straight backs going nice, neat. Um, I did add a little bit of edge control to the edges. Now for this style, this whole point of the video is to do no baby hairs. We don't want no crusty edges. We don't want no glue, nothing like that. So I did go ahead and use hairspray. Let me just clarify with you guys. In my brain, in my mind, or I guess point blank period, <laughs> um, glue is glue. So you have ghost bond glue, you have bolt holds, you have all kinds of other glues, and then you have hairspray. A lot of times I use hairspray to hold my units down because for me, they are much more comfortable and I can take it off right with water. Now with glue, when you use glue, in order to take it off, it's a hot mess. It's messy. It's sticky. It's nasty. You need oil. You need alcohol. And when you roll it up into little balls or around your edges, it looks like it just looks feels and looks and feels nasty. Okay. So for me, I don't like to really go the glue method. So hairspray has been my friend for the longest, and it's been working for me, especially for the summer. Fun fact: I did I did go cycling the other day, and my wig stayed right on my head okay so to me it's a great method especially if you are doing a lot of sweating okay this is her end result everything is nice and neat going straight to the back for the last braid back there just fold that up and throw the wig onto her head this is from premium lace wigs it came exactly like this the lace was perfect for her skin color now i do want to make this clear i am going to be using the freezing spray it is very cold obviously so you will see her flinch as i'm spraying it it's not because of any other hurts or whatever the case may be it's just a cold spray hence the name free spray <laughs> and when you're doing this it's really important that you do not do not do not do not move your unit as you are as it's drying so what i mean is look i'm spraying a hell of a lot spray a lot don't be cheap with this um don't spray too little spray enough okay this will last you about a good two to five days and i just spray and section by section so right now we're going to do the middle part by the forehead and then we're going to go ahead and do the left side and then the right side now that it's drying, you do not want to try to pick this up or move it or shift it. Once it's dry, you're kind of stuck with it being there. If you want to take it off and start over, you're going to have to wet it and let it get slimy. But do not move it as it's drying because that will, in fact, make it crusty. When I say crusty, it will be white and disgusting around the edges, and we do not want that. Do the same thing for the right, no, left side. <laughs> left side. You know what? Whatever is your right, whatever is your left. Do it for the last side right here. Blow dry it. I have it on cool air and I alternate between that and warm. This is how it looks. It's stuck down. It's in place. You might feel like you got a facelift, but it's not uncomfortable, okay? It feels good and it's much more comfortable than... um glue in my opinion so this is what we're working with right now we are going to go ahead and zoom in because i want to show you guys close up as we cut now as we cut you are going to get that little bit of white line right there i'm going to show you guys how to fix that because honey i am not walking around town looking like that with that white line we want to make this melt into her scalp whether it's with glue or whether it's with gotta be glue spray as you're cutting, um, cut a little bit jagged. Don't just cut in a straight line. Also, make sure you're cutting piece by piece. So kind of do a section. Don't cut off all the lace at once and then um, come back. To me, it helps if you just do one section first and then make your way on over to the section that's left with the lace. So we have a little bit of a white line. That's fine. Trim off what you can. If you can't trim off any more than this, don't force it. Get you some gotta be glued. Okay, the clear gel 
the black bottle and use the tail of a comb and just kind of press it on the white areas and you can see how it's starting to like mesh into her skin and kind of and disappear a little bit i do have a wet napkin with water that i'm using to wipe off any of the um shiny areas or any if i put too much glue okay so your wet paper towel is going to be your eraser Next, what I'm going to do is, it was a little bit crusty right there, so I did spray a little bit on my finger, and then I just added that to her skin and on the lace and took a little bit more of that gel and just pressed it down. Now, if you guys noticed, I'm using a very small amount of the gel. I'm not using too much of the gel because the more you use, the more it's going to give it that cakier look that unnatural look that over the top look and we kind of don't want that i mean at least i'm not going for that um it's important that you press it down as you're blowing blow drying it out because this will help it to stick in place and stay you can see it's a little bit shiny before her hairline use that napkin again to just wipe that all off now we're going to go ahead and move on to the other side that still has the lace. And you can see I'm really taking my time to cut this lace. There is a white line there, guys. Don't freak out. We are going to literally fix that as you've seen what we did on the other side. I love this method because I feel like if you really want to just have a wig on for one or two days and take off your unit without all the mess that comes with glue, this is definitely the option for you. Like, it's so easy to do. Anyone can do it. Um, she's not really skilled with units, and she did actually take off her unit, and she was able to put it back on by herself and literally lay her own unit by just doing exactly what I did in this video. So this is the end result. I think it looks really amazing. Um, I did make her go ahead and flip it from left to right so she can see, but I am gonna add a little bit more air onto her hairline just to make sure everything is set in stone and in place. This unit was beautiful, by the way. It straightened very well. I believe it's more of a wavy texture, but it straightened very well and it looked really natural. I did swoop out a teeny bit on the left side and the right side. Not too much. We didn't do baby hairs here. I just want to make that clear. But I did just swoop out a little bit because her hairline does come out a little bit. And she didn't want any of her hairs showing. So um, we did do that just to make it look a little bit more natural. So this, I'm going to give you guys some hair action. This is how it looks. I think it looks amazeballs. I think it it was able to go left or right back from one side to the other and still keep a natural look so if you're really a person that's not into the parts and you just like to have gone with the wind fabulous type hair this is definitely the option for you i am gonna fly in her hair because she wanted a middle part we were going out this night so i wanted to slay her before the night started i did flat iron her hair blow dry it the lace on this unit was so cooperative, like the hair on the lace, I should say. I was able to just flatten this and flatten the frontal without having to use the hot comb. So I'm really just using blow dryer and alternating between the curl and iron. Probably one of my favorite units from Premium Lace Wigs. I've worked with them several times. This is probably my favorite, favorite, favorite. I just loved how it looked natural on her. I feel like this was a jet black unit because it looks very black in the video. Um, but it went well with her skin color just perfectly. So I'm going to let you guys watch for a little bit more before I come back and finish talking. Now, Moose is going to always be a best friend. You guys know I swear by that. Moose is my best friend. So is setting foam. It just makes the hair look natural. If you have any flyaways, go ahead and put that on top of your hair just to put your flyaways away. Also, it's like my last minute sculpting smoothing effect. <laughs> so I put it on her hair and then I put a little bit of oil in my hands. Not too much. And we're going to just literally just flatten out the top of her head and just shape it to... Her head shape. 
this is the last finishing touch and i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much guys for watching this let me know if you learned a thing or two and again this is from premium lace wigs i will see you in my next one bye y'all